up guys and welcome to another quick tip. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make objects sort of appear like they're growing and we're going to achieve this by using a little technique using the boolean modifier. So what you're actually doing is you're going to be using one object to essentially hide the mesh data of the other object and as you move the object the boolean modifier is going to sort of make the object look like it's growing. I'll show you an example quickly and then we're going to run through how we actually do it. So for example, you can see this object here, these little wireframes, we're going to be using this object I've created, which I've hidden, to sort of create this sort of growth effect on the mesh. And you can get some really cool effects if you, uh, if you just parent this object to your camera and then have your camera sort of follow a path. So for example, if I move this camera now, you'll see the object sort of grows as the camera moves. I think it's a really cool effect and it's actually quite easy to pull off. So before we get into it, I'm just going to show you some examples of some renders that I've made using this technique. And if you want to learn how to make this particular one, I've actually got a full tutorial on the creation of this full render. So I encourage you guys to check that out if you want to make something cool. Right, let's jump into it. So I'm just going to delete some things in the scene just so we can start fresh. I'm going to delete that camera and the thing that we're actually using to make the boolean. Now this object is actually quite simple. It's just a cylinder that's hollowed out and scaled along the y-axis. I've subdivided it a few times and I've added a wireframe modifier, as you can see here, along with a displacement modifier. And I've used a Voronoi crackle texture to give it that cool crackly effect. Uh, so yeah, onto the actual technique that I want to show you. All you have to do is just add an object. So we'll hit Shift A, we'll add a mesh, and let's add a UV sphere. Now you want to hit S and just scale it up a bit, quite a bit. Depending on the object that you're trying to make grow, you want to just sort of scale it along the length of that object. So I'm going to scale this on the Y axis. So hit S and then Y. I'm just going to drag it out. And if you look at the object from the top view, you want to find where your base point will be. So let's say the object grows from the bottom here. You want to cover the sphere so it fills the whole thing. So just hit G and Y. And we'll just bring it all the way to there. Just so that will be where the end of the growth is. Because what the Boolean modifier will do is it will essentially join this mesh to this object. You just need to make sure it's covering most of the object, particularly the end of where you want it to grow to. So with that done, we're going to select our cylinder and we're going to go to the modifier section, which is this little spanner. We're going to add a modifier and we're going to add a Boolean modifier. And you just want to make sure that you have it set to difference. And then object, just assign that to the object that you recently created so in this case it's the sphere now as you can see the overlays have, have disappeared within the object and that's because now what the boolean modifier does is it essentially joins the mesh of two objects so when the cylinder and the sphere touch the mesh is going to disappear so you can sort of see that if you go inside the sphere there's no mesh going through the sphere now and then if you went back to your cylinder and then turned off this boolean modifier now the mesh appears again so that's what the boolean modifier does. We kind of know what we're doing now. We're just going to be moving this object along the y-axis so it grows. Now how do we actually get rid of the sphere? Because it's in the way and it's sort of affecting our scene. It's really easy to do that. All you've got to do is select the sphere. Go to your go to your object properties here. And all you've got to do is scroll down to where it says viewport display. Just expand that. And on here, where it says display as, select display as bounds. And check bounds as well here. And we'll set that to box. That's going to create sort of an empty box. So we kind of, it basically hides the object from the viewport. Um, but you want to have the bounds on so you can see where the object actually is. And now, as you can see, when you hit G and Y, it has that effect. And then if you want to pair it to a camera, all you've got to do, hit Shift A, add a camera. We'll hit Alt R and then RX90. Just face it along the Y. Just put that to the start of your cylinder. So click on the sphere, hold control, and then click on the camera, hit control P, object to keep transform. And that's going to parent this box to the camera. So now when you move the camera, the box will move with it. Let's key that in quickly. We'll select the camera, add a keyframe on the y-axis, bring this to eight, add a keyframe. And now go into camera view and now watch the animation. And you can see you get this really cool sort of growing effect. And obviously it works the opposite way as well. So you can make things disintegrate as well if you just sort of reverse this technique. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you feel like you gain value from this video. I really like this technique. You can get some really interesting results from it. And as you can see here, these are some renders that I've done using this technique. And like I said, if you want to learn how to recreate this particular render, feel free to check out my other tutorial on it, which I'll be leaving a link just in the description and it will come at the end of the video as well. 
I also encourage you guys to check out my website where you can find more of my work, more tutorials like this. And also you can stream some of my music there and you can just see what I'm up to. Uh, you can find all that at nemmotion.co.uk.